Guys, it's Daniel, and I'm now going to do my review of the Rolex 24 Daytona for 2019. Honestly, I thought the race was pretty good. Um, ending was interesting, to say at the least. Um, they called the race about 10 minutes before, and uh, Wayne Taylor did get the win. Um, I want to give a huge congratulations to Wayne Taylor, because your boy Fernando Alonso is a champion of the Rolex 24 Daytona, and he's got a Rolex watch to his name. Same with Rangar Dave and Zant, um, Jordan Taylor, and uh, Kamui Kobayashi, which was a teammate of uh, Alonzo when he won the Le Mans race last season. So, I'll kind of go through the race, kind of talk about some of the big things that did happen in this race. Some of the craziness, because this race in all was pretty crazy. A lot of aggression for sure this year, especially in the DPI class. You know, you had a lot of good cars this year. You had the 77 team that was fast, the 55 team, the Team Yost guys. You had Penske this year that was really, really strong. You had Wayne Taylor Racing, who won the race, by the way. And you had you had Team Action Express. And even at Core Autosport, who I thought they were going to kind of struggle this year, but they did really good this year. They did have some issues early in the race, but they came back and did really well. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these guys, you know, they had issues, you know, Christian, he had some sort of Christian's team, you know, Christian Benipoli, which by the way, this was Christian's, uh, final race. Um, huge congratulations on a great career, Christian, and I wish you the best of luck in what you are going to do in the future of your career. I honestly think that that team could have had a chance to win and go back to back, but they had some sort of issue. You guys can tell me what it is. Uh, 31 team, we all saw what happened at the end. They were really good at the end of the race. It seemed like they were going to win the race. And then they overdrove the corner with about a couple minutes left before they called the caution. That would end the race with about two hours to go. And then, you know, Team Penske was strong. Unfortunately, uh, they both had some sort of issue. Both Penske cars had an issue. They, uh, the 16 didn't really have a chance to win. They felt like 20 laps down, something like that. But the 17, they ended up finishing uh, third. They had a really good car. Alexander Rossi, you know, um, you know, Castro Neves, and I can't remember the other guy that was on the team. Whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, back to this, um, you know. And then, you know, there were other teams like Core. They got fourth. Great run for that team. Now I'm going to fo kind of focus on the um, rest of this race. There was a lot of other issues. You know, 77, they, uh, unfortunately, they uh, blew up. Feel issue that took them out of the race. That is a grave shame for them because honestly, like they they could have won, but reliability was going to be an issue. A lot of teams were talking about how reliable they were going to be, and they weren't as reliable as they thought they were going to be. They were fast, but was the, what was the reliability? They unfortunately fell out about an hour six or seven of the race, which is a shame because they could have won. Now I'm going to kind of focus on the GTDs, GTLMs. We all know that uh, Alex Zanardi was in this race. Um, unfortunately, they had an issue trying to get his uh, steering wheel in and everything, that, all of his gadgets in. They had to get a new one for him. Uh, this was the first time he was using it for the race, so he really didn't have as much experience using this. Uh, he was a little bit slower, but to see Alex Zanardi back in the car, huge inspiration to me. And uh, to see him back in America, this is the first race he ran since Road America in 2001 it's been a long time since he ran and to see him just race again it was awesome to go out and see out there unfortunately they had some sort of issue as well and they they finished basically in the back but hey regardless i'm happy that alex was able to race and he did really well honestly i think he did well he was a little sorry everyone else but hey you know for him to do have times like a second or two off of everyone else and when you have no legs at all. You have to use some sort of gadget. That's pretty cool. And then the GTDs, you know, they were fast. is really great. Um, Almaninger and Townsend Bell were in that. They were also NBC commentators, and they didn't win, which sucks because I want to see one of those guys win. But uh, in the end, they did really well. Great race for the, for the GTDs. Uh, other big moments that it happened. And then we had the rain come in. And this made the race really intense. Um, they had a red flag because Tommy Milner in the four car uh, came shooting off. 
um, because he had no brakes, I think. And he hit the outside wall, and basically they said, we're going to call the red flag. Rain was in the forecast, and a lot of teams were kind of worried about when is this rain going to arrive. It arrived like at six or seven hours left the race. They had a red flag for a couple hours. Then they came back, and then they had a bunch of wrecks happen, and then they had an hour and a half long caution. And then they went back racing again. More cautions happened, and 1.45 cars were off. And as I mentioned earlier, the move of the race was when the 31 car went off the track and the 10 car got the lead and then the cost came out and we had to wait a long time for them to call the race. And like I said, Wayne Taylor got the win. Uh, the other classes, uh, DPI's, Wayne Taylor's team got the DPI class, so they get Rolex watches. In the, um, in the, the LMP2's, the 18 team, I think, one of the Dragon Speed team got the win. Regardless, Dragon Speed was going to win. Uh, huge congratulations to them. I think Sebastian the Vader got one, so congratulations to them. They didn't focus on it. It was boring as shit to watch. <laughs> and then in the other two classes, you have GTLMs. Uh, the, the BMW got the win tonight. Um, the 25 team, especially for what happened to one of their guys, passed away. See Augusta win. Everyone in that team. And Bobby Rails team. They got the win, so huge congratulations to the 25 team. And then the other team in the GTD, the, I think the 11 team got the win. They get Rolex watches back-to-back uh, -back years, I think, they've won. So, again, huge congratulations to them. Um, now I'm going to give you my opinion on this race. I honestly thought the race was really good. Um, they had to call the race at the end. You guys have to understand, I'm not a big fan of rain storm racing, but when the conditions are as bad as that, I don't completely blame them at all for bl for taking them off the track, calling a red flag. The rain was just, it was so treacherous. If you watched the race, it was really bad to watch. If you were there, just cars sliding on and off track. You had a lot of people complaining. A lot were saying that we shouldn't even be racing out here. Why are we doing this? Honestly, they could have paced under caution, but IMSA, it's their decision. Not everything they do is right, but it's IMSA. They're going to do what they're going to do. I'm not mad, you know. It is what it is. And... In the end, I'm going to give this race a 9 out of 10, not just because Alonzo did win the Rolex, but I thought the race was good. The aggression was pretty good. Um, strategy was awesome. I think a lot of the strategy, them winning the race, kind of had to do with the fact they were really good at strategy in this race. So, like I said, huge congratulations to Wayne Taylor Racing on winning this race. This is their second time they've won. Uh, second time last three years. <laughs> Unlike last 2017, we had a lot of controversy. This year, there really is no controversy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time on another video. I believe the next video I'll be doing on this channel is the predictions videos. So I'm thinking about doing three parts for that, but we'll see about that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time on the next review.